My name is Terry King. I'm the Chief of Breast Surgery at Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's Cancer Center. And for the past 18 years, I've had the privilege of caring for many women with the diagnosis of breast cancer. I've also spent many years studying changes that happen in the breast tissue that put women at higher risk for getting breast cancer. And so for these two reasons, when I moved to Brigham and Women's Hospital, I had a strong desire to develop a high risk or a comprehensive breast program to help women understand their risk of breast cancer. This program is called B-PREP, and it lives in the Comprehensive Breast Center at Bergman Women's Hospital. B-PREP stands for Breast Cancer Personalized Risk Assessment Education and Prevention. And the overarching goal of this program is to make sure that every woman understands her risk and understands the options that are available to her for risk reduction and prevention. So we hear something every day about breast cancer, and many of my patients ask me, well, is the incidence increasing? Are more women being diagnosed with this disease? And the good news is, is no, the incidence of breast cancer has actually been quite steady for the last 20 or 30 years in the United States, but the problem is it's still far too common. About one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. And although we aren't so good yet at figuring out who that one is, we are getting better at helping the other women understand what they can do to reduce their risk. It's becoming increasingly clear that up to 20% of all the cancer diagnoses in the United States each year may in fact be preventable by things that we can do modifying our lifestyle. In many ways, this is good news. We can't control our family history, but we can control our lifestyle choices and our behaviors. A growing body of research has demonstrated that hormones that circulate in our body, hormones such as estrogen and insulin, are very strongly linked to the development of breast cancer. And we know that efforts to maintain normal body weight or reduce uh, weight if we have gained weight can impact the level of these hormones and ultimately reduce our risk of getting breast cancer. We also are learning more and more about the impact of regular exercise, and we provide women with the guidelines on how much exercise they should be achieving each week in order to also reduce their risk. And finally, we're learning more about the connection between our diets, and particularly alcohol intake, and the risk of developing breast cancer. So although we don't like to hear it, drinking more than one or two alcoholic beverages per day is associated with a elevated risk of breast cancer. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have that glass of wine after a stressful day at work or out on a Friday night with your friends, uh, but it does mean that alcohol in moderation should really be the, the goal. Our goal is to really help women understand what they can do the impact that they can have themselves on reducing their risk of breast cancer. Now the relationship between weight and breast cancer is certainly complicated and it has to do with certain levels of hormones in our body as well as the timing of our weight gain or weight loss. And we know it's not easy to always lose weight. Many women are trying to lose weight. They perhaps have not been as successful as they would like to. And so in the B-PREP program, we've partnered with our colleagues in the Brigham and Women's Weight Management Center to help women identify their options uh, for maintaining their normal body weight or losing weight when necessary. But for some women, weight loss surgery may be the more appropriate option. And so we also have the opportunity to provide women with direct referrals to our, the weight loss surgical program. The B-PREP program is a collaborative effort between physicians and other healthcare providers at Brigham and Women's Hospital and our colleagues at the Dana-Farber Cancer Center. We work very closely with our colleagues in the Clinical Genetics and Prevention Program at Dana-Farber to make sure that we're offering women in B-PREP all of the potential options available to them for risk reduction or prevention. The possibility of facing a breast cancer diagnosis is frightening, and at the B-PREP program, we want to help women navigate their choices. We want to help them understand their risk of developing breast cancer, understand their options for reducing their risk, including the lifestyle modifications that we've been discussing, but also potentially medications or participation in clinical trials where we're studying new ways to reduce the risk of breast cancer. For those women who are interested in options such as medication to reduce risk, of course we have those options as well, but we don't just want to focus on medication uh, to solve this problem. So our approach is, again, for any woman who wants to come and learn about her risk of breast cancer, we're there, our doors are open, and we want to explore all the possible options for helping a woman modify her risk. So in the B-PREP program, we provide women with personalized strategies regarding when and how often they should be having mammograms, should they be having ultrasounds, and is there any role for MRI screening. An important point about the B-PREP program that distinguishes us from other so-called high-risk programs is that 
our door is open to anyone. You don't have to know you're at high risk to come to our program. You don't have to be referred in by your doctor. You can simply pick up the phone and call us and say, I'd like to learn about my risk of breast cancer. For those women who are found to be at increased risk, those are the women that we really want to embrace in the B Prep program. We want to provide them with tailored strategies for screening. We want to provide them with, with follow-up so they feel reassured that they're getting the care that they need. If one day something were to develop, then of course they have an instant connection to the specialists at the Dana-Farber Cancer Center. But most importantly, we want to be available for any woman who wants to come in and learn about her risk.